Good morning, my dear students. Welcome you all to this session. Today's class, we are going to start our new topic, addition and subtraction of algebraic expressions. In previous sessions all, we have discussed what is meant by algebraic expressions and what are the terms, factors and uh, uh, how to find that they are like terms, how to find they are unlike terms, then what are the types of terms, monomial, binomial, trinomial, Yes, we have discussed the, those types of problems in our previous class. Now, we are going to so, uh, do the simplification. Okay, one big expression will be given. We have to simplify it. Uh, whether it, if it is addition or subtraction, based upon that, we have to solve it. Okay, so you can take page number 235 in your NCRT textbook. Okay, so there are many uh, definitions or what are the methods we will be using while addition and subtraction of uh, algebraic expression are given. So, using that method, we can solve it. Okay, and now we are going to add and uh, subtract the expression. Okay, uh, when you are doing the addition and subtraction of expression, uh, this addition and subtraction of expression can be done only when they are like terms. Okay, we should be cause concentrated that our terms are like terms. You know what is like terms, right? In our previous classes, we have used it. Uh, okay, you know uh, uh, 3x means nothing but 3 into x, right? 4y is nothing but 4 into y. This is what the meaning, right? Instead of writing 4 into y, we will be writing 4y. Instead of writing 3 into x, you will be writing 3x. Likewise, 4x square y. Instead of writing 4 into x into x into y, we are writing 4x square y. These things all you know. Because we have used this method in the factors, right? The same thing, 4 into x into x into y can be written as 4x square y. Okay, when I am going to add 3x plus 4 plus 4x, okay? 3x plus 4 plus 4x. When I am going to simplify this expression, you know this is an expression, right? Huh? We are going to simplify this expression. Uh, here, in between all the three terms, they have given the plus sign, yes? Uh, so, we are going to add all the three, three things. That is our main concept. Okay, in this which, which are all like terms actually? This 3x and 4x are like terms. Is it correct? Yes. So, what you are doing is arrange the like terms in the beginning. 3x plus 4x plus 4. You arrange your uh, unlike terms at the last. First, when you are adding what you should do? You should arrange your like terms in the beginning. Then you add your unlike terms at the last. Which means 4 is your unlike terms. Now, I told you addition can be done only when the terms are like terms. Yes. So, here 3x and 4x are like terms. Yes. So, what if it is that if that is a case, what you are doing is you can add your numerical coefficients directly. Numerical coefficients you know, right? So, you can write like 3 plus 4. Commonly, you can write x plus 4. Because I told you if it is a like terms, this uh, variable can be written commonly and you can put one uh, uh, bracket and you write only the uh, what coefficient, numerical coefficient inside the bracket and keep the variable as common. If this is written like this, th what is the meaning now? This x is common for 3 as well as 4. So, x can be multiplied with 3 as well as 4. That is the meaning, right? 3 into x now 3x. Eh? 4 into x now 4x. So, x is common for 3 as well as 4. That is the meaning. So, if this is a case like term, x is common for both the things. Uh, so, you will put the x outside, the variable outside and you will keep the uh, two numerical constants inside a bracket. Now, uh, 3 plus 4, what is the answer? 7x. 3 plus 4 is 7. Then this x plus 4. Actually, this 4 will not be added with this. Why? Because this 4 is a, another one term and uh, 7x is another term. So, both are unlike term. So, we have to simplify unless we are getting unlike terms. Okay. Even if it is an addition or subtraction, anything, you have to solve until we are getting the unlike term. Okay. I uh, will give you one more problem. 3x square y. 
plus 7 y square x uh, minus 4x square y. Okay. If this is your simplification, what you should check? First, you should check whether we have a like terms or not. Yes. So, in this, which are all like terms? x square y and this x square y are like terms. So, if it is like terms, what I told you? You should write the like terms in the beginning. So, 3x square y minus 4x square y plus 7y square x because 7y square x is unlike. Here, what I told you? You should put the variable outside and only the numerical constant. 3 minus 4 into x square y. This x square y is common for 3 as well as minus 4. Because here it is minus 4, here it is 3. Upper 3 minus 4 uh, common bracket x square y plus 7 y square x. Because this will not be included here. You know right y. 3 minus 4 is what? Minus 1 x square y plus 7 y square x. Minus 1 into x square y is nothing but minus x square y plus 7 y square x. Whether they are like terms? No, both are unlike terms. So, you should stop the uh, procedure till this. Understood? This is your example number 4. Okay. Uh, what is the example number 4? Collect like terms and simplify the expression. Uh, I told you, whenever you are simplifying your expression, you should collect all the like terms first. Then you should uh, separate the unlike term at the last. You have to keep it at the last. Yes. Uh, so, now what are the like terms here? m square and this m square is one like term. Then this m, this m and this m is one set of like terms. So, we are going to collect all the like terms first. Then we are going to simplify it. Okay. So, you can put the equal to in this uh, margin corner. Because this term is equal to the upcoming terms. That is the meaning. Okay. This given expression is equal to the upcoming expression. That is the meaning. So, now I am going to uh, arrange the like terms together. 12m square minus 4m square. Now, I have arranged this m squares together. Next step. Minus 9m plus 5m minus 7m. Now, I have arranged this like terms. This like terms together. Then plus 10 because which is unlike so I have kept at the last. Now what I will do if it is the like terms are there we can put the like terms in uh, coefficients in bracket and uh, keep the variable outside. 12 minus 4 the whole uh, m square. 12 minus 4 into m square. Then you can put plus. Why I am putting plus means see minus 9 plus 5 minus 7 into m. Why I am putting plus means always the plus will not change anything in this equation. Okay. See why I am putting plus now. Plus into minus minus 9m. Plus into plus plus 5m. Plus into minus minus 7m. Okay. That's why I am putting plus here. Don't can get confused children. As usual 12 minus 4 into m square. Next, another one like term is there. In previous problem all, we don't have two like terms. We have only one like term. So, we went as usual. But here, m square is one set of like terms and m is another set of like, ter like terms. So, in order to separate it, you should put plus and in bracket, this minus 9 plus 5 minus 7. Why I am doing this now? Plus bracket means what children? Multiplication. Yes. So, plus into minus 9 now minus 9m. Plus, plus into plus 5 means plus 5m. Plus into minus 7 now plus into minus minus 7m. Okay. That's why I am putting plus. Don't forget always you put the plus here. Because plus will not change anything. Okay. If it is minus if you put here minus into minus plus it will come which is entirely uh, inversion which means entirely it is wrong. Then everything over a uh, m terms everything over then remaining is plus 10. Now 12 minus 4 is 8 m square plus minus 9 plus 5 is minus 9 plus 5 is minus 4. Minus 4 minus 7 is minus 11 m plus 10. Why I am putting bracket like this now since it is minus if it is plus now, you can, you can put directly. Okay. Since it is minus, 
we have to solve it. 8m square plus into minus minus 11m plus 10. Okay, 11 into m na 11m only no. So, plus into minus minus 11m plus 10. So, this is what your simplified expression. Why is it, it is said to be simplified? Because this is m square, m and constant m. All the three terms are unlike. So, we have to stop until we are getting a unlike terms. Understood? You should be very concentrated. Why I am putting this plus here? Then here minus 11 I got. So, I am putting it in bracket minus 11. So, plus into minus minus 11 m plus 10. So, this is what the thing you will get confused. So, once again I am going to teach. Okay. This is your example number 5. Subtract 24 a b minus 10 b minus 18 from 30 a b plus 12 b plus 14 a. So, from means this the expression should be written first and second this should be written. Yes, as usual. If subtract 5 from 7 means 7 minus 5 only you will write. No, the same thing subtracting this expression from this expression. So, how we will write it? 30ab plus 12b plus 14a minus 24ab minus 10b minus 18a. I am going to subtract this expression from this expression. Okay, see why I am putting the bracket now in order to avoid confusions. Okay, this is one set of expression. I am going to subtract it and another set of expression. So, in order to separate this, I am going to put the minus sign. And using the bracket, I am going to separate it. See, here also I have subtract, I have uh, uh, segregated them using the bracket, no, in order to avoid the confusion the same way here also. Because this is one set of expression and this is one set of expression. Now, listen children, I am going to teach you one, diff, one, uh, one basic thing. See, I told you if there is no sign in front of the bracket, that meaning is plus. Usually in integers you have learned, no, if there is no sign in front of a bracket, the meaning is plus. In front of any number, if the sign is not there, that meaning is also plus. Yes, see listen, in front of the bracket, if no uh, signs are given, the meaning is plus. In front of a number, if there is no sign is there, the meaning is also plus. Now, now first thing is, I should remove all my brackets and I should make the expression like this first. Then only we can segregate the like terms, then only like this. The same way, first you remove all the bracket and uh, make it into a single expression. Okay. So, plus into plus, plus 330ab. Next, plus into plus, plus 12b. Next, plus into plus, plus 14a okay if here some 2 is there now 2 into 30 plus 2 into plus 30 plus 60 a b you will write it okay if nothing it is there that's why plus into plus plus 30 a b plus into plus plus 12 b plus into plus plus 14a. Now, this thing over. Actually, this plus is common for only this expression. Now, this minus will be common for these three terms because this minus is kept outside and this uh, bracket are opened and closed here. So, this minus is common for 24ab minus 10b minus 18a. Okay. Now, if there is no symbol here, what is the meaning? Plus, correct? Plus into minus minus 24ab next plus into minus min, minus into minus plus 10b okay next minus into minus minus into minus plus 18a now all this expression are came in single line and uh, they don't have any uh, brackets in between yes i told you first you should remove all the brackets now you can arrange the like terms a, B is one like term. A, B is another one like term. Then B, B are like terms. Then A, A are like terms. Yes, first what you will do? 30 plus 30 A, B minus 24 A, B plus 12 B plus 10 B plus 14 A plus 18 A. Yes, 
30 AB minus 24 AB. First I have written 12B and 10B I have written next. 14A plus 18A I have written at the last. So this is what your like terms. Okay. Now what you should do if the like terms are there. 30 minus 24 into AB. Yes. See plus 13 or 30 both are same. So 30 minus 24 into AB. Plus I told you plus like this. Yes. Now put a bracket 12 plus 10 into B. In this 12 plus 10 into B plus 14 plus 18 into A. 14 plus 18 into A. Now 30 minus 24 is how much? 6AB. 6AB. Don't forget to put this variable. Okay. Plus 12 plus 10. 22B. 12 plus 10. 22B. Plus 14 plus 18 is 12 and 32 A. So, A, B, B, A. All are unlike terms. So, this is what your final answer. Understood? Next is your example number 6. From the sum of 2Y square plus 3YZ, comma, minus Y square minus YZ minus Z square and YZ plus 2Z square, Subtract the sum of 3y square minus z square and minus y square plus y z plus z square. So actually first we should find the sum of these three terms. Then we should find the sum of these two terms. Then what you should do now we have to sub you will get one answer here right. And you will also get one answer here. Yes when you add these three values you will get one answer. When I add these two values I will get one answer. Then you should subtract this answer from this answer. Okay, that is, uh, you will get one final answer. Okay, so when you add these three values, I will get one answer children. Then if I add these two expression, I will get one answer. Then we should subtract this answer from this answer. Okay, so first what you should do? You should find the sum of these three values. Yes, sum of these three values now as usual. 2y square plus 3yz. I am just adding these three expression. Plus minus y square minus yz minus z square plus yz plus 2z square. I am just adding three expressions. Now what I told you previously. First we should remove all our brackets. Yes. So I told you if there is no symbol here. Plus is a meaning. Plus into plus. Plus 2y square. Plus into plus plus 3yz. Next. Actually this plus is common for only these two terms. This plus is common for these three terms. Plus into minus minus y square. Plus into minus minus yz. Plus into minus minus z square. Next. This plus is common for these two. Plus into, my, plus, into plus plus yz. Plus into plus plus 2z square. Now I have removed all the brackets. Now what you should do? You should add all the like terms. We should <coughs> combine all the like terms. y square, y square is one like term. z square, z square is another one like term. yz, yz, yz is the another one like term. Yes? Now I have uh, combined all the like terms first. So first, uh, uh, first I am just combining. 2y square or plus 2y square. Both are same. 2y square minus y square. Yes. Next I am going to uh, combine minus z square plus 2z square. Minus z square plus 2z square. Plus 3yz minus yz plus yz. Yes. 3yz minus yz plus yz. Now y square terms, z square terms, y z terms. Now 2 minus 1 into y square because y square should be common. So 2 minus 1 into y square plus I told you in order to separate all the things I should put plus minus 1 plus 2 into z square because this is minus 1 plus 2 into z square plus 3 minus 1 plus 1 into y z. 3 minus 1 plus 1 into y z. Upper 2 minus 1 is 1 y square. Minus 1 plus 2 is plus 1 z square. Plus 3 minus 1 plus 1 is 
3yz. 2 minus 1, 1 y square. Minus 1 plus 2 is 1z square. Plus 3 plus 1 minus 1, 3yz. So, what is the answer you are getting children? 1 into y square na y square. Plus z, 1 into z square na z square. Plus 3yz. So, y square plus z square plus 3yz is your uh, sum of the values for all the 3. Okay. Now, what you should find? You should find the sum of these two values. Yes. So, next. Because I got the answer for this. This answer I got. Now, I should get this answer. Right. So, now what you should do? You should find the sum of uh, 3y square minus z square. 3y square minus z square. Plus, what is the next value, next term? Uh, minus y square plus yz plus z square. I am just adding these two now. Because the sec second thing what we have to do, right? If no uh, symbol is there, plus is a meaning. Plus into plus, plus 3y square. Plus into minus, minus z square. Next, plus into minus, minus y square. Plus into plus, plus y z plus into plus plus z square now i have removed all the brackets yes now what you should do you should combine all the like terms y square y square is a like term z square z square is a like term and y z don't have any pair now what you will do uh, 3 y square plus y, plus 3 y square no no 3 y square both are same mm, 3 y square minus y square then minus z square plus z square plus y z now i have arranged y squares z square and y z now what you should do you should put in a bracket 3 minus 1 into y square plus minus 1 plus 1 into z square i should i told you plus symbol should be there minus 1 plus 1 z square plus y z okay now 3 minus 1 2 y square plus minus 1 plus 1 0 z square plus y z so upper 2 y square 0 into any value is 0 upper you neglect this plus y z you don't want this because 0 z square means 0 only upper 2 y square plus y z now i got the answer for I got the answer for this. Now I should separate this answer and this answer, right? I'm going to I'm going to subtract it. So what is the first answer? Y square plus z square plus 3yz. Y square plus z square plus 3yz. This is the first answer. I'm going to subtract this by 2y square plus yz. Yes, now I told you, you no. Know, just we are subtracting. This is the first sum answer minus this one. I am going to subtract it. Now what I told you. We have to um, eliminate the brackets. Y square plus z square. Because here plus is there. Plus into plus plus y square. Plus into plus plus z square. Plus into plus 3 y z. This plus is common until this. Then minus is common for these two terms. Minus into plus because no symbol is there meaning is plus only no minus into minus uh, mi minus into plus minus 2 y square minus into plus minus y z now arranging the like terms y square y, y square like term y z y z like term z square is uh, don't have any pair now what you will do y square minus 2 y square plus z square plus 3 yz minus yz see these two are like terms these two are like terms you can write the z square at the last also no problem but i have written in the front no harm in that okay now what you will do 1 minus 2 into y square because here 1 only no 1 minus 2 into y square plus z square because it it don't have any pair next 3 minus 1 into yz 3 minus 1 into y z correct because here it is uh, 3 minus 1 into y z 1 minus 2 is what minus 1 y square 1 minus 2 is minus 1 y square plus z square plus 3 minus 1 is 2 y z about minus 1 into y now you will write minus y square plus z square plus 2 y z
So, this is what your expression. We have to stop until this. Why? Because y square, z square, y, z. All the three values are unlike terms. So, we have to stop our simplification till this. Okay. Listen. I Once again, I am going to teach you. We are going to uh, find the sum of these three terms. Which I have done here. I have added all the three terms. First, I have removed the brackets. Then, I made all the like terms together. Then, I put the numerical coefficients like this. Then I have solved and find the sum of all the three values. Then I find the sum of these two values. Uh, remove the bracket and as usual I have done and found the answer. Then, then I have to subtract this answer minus this answer. As usual subtraction, this minus goes inside. It will become minus 2y square minus y z. Combining the like terms, then putting the numerical coefficients. I got the answer. So, this, till this I should stop it because they are all unlike terms. Understood? Today's class we have discussed about the addition and subtraction of algebraic expressions. We have discussed a few example problems. I hope you all understood children. Thank you.